Alright, so today we're going to be unboxing Sony Vegas 20, well, not Sony Vegas. So today we're going to be unboxing Vegas Pro 17. So let's go ahead and get into it. So. I've been using Windows Movie Maker as my main editor for the majority of my videos, actually. Um, it's People think it's a really bad video editor, but if you can get creative with it, you can make really good videos. It's just the problem with the Movie Maker right now is just, firstly, it's a bit limited. I can't really do that much with it. I have to be, I have to make things complicated for myself to do special effects. Also, rendering 1080p 60 videos is impossible for Windows 7. I don't know why. On Windows 10, it worked fine, but on Windows 7, it just doesn't work. And also, it was just time for me to move on. Windows Movie Maker is just not going to keep up with the kind of videos I'm making. So here's Vegas Pro 17. I plan on using this as my main editor. I got it for $200 because it was 50% off, surprisingly. So uh, yeah, take a look at the box. There's nothing really special. It's Vegas Pro Edit. I didn't get just Vegas Pro. This is version 17. All right, we're using scissors. This is safe. Okay, perfect. I guess we'll open it from the top. Okay, here it is. So, all right, that's if you want to read that. Sony Vegas, I always prefer packaged. Like I don't like downloading it just because I always somehow lose it. So here's this DVD professional am i right i don't know why we still use dvds my serial number is on this card so i'm not going to show it but if i take it out it's going to show the serial number you have to lift this box to reveal the serial number and then once i take this off it's going to show the serial number and there's the whole box so this is the box itself here's the dvd yep that's the dvd which we're going to be installing vegas on just a, a letter for vegas customers i don't know what this is but it's for the packaging All right, so we're on the computer now. Here's the local disk, and here it is. So these are the files on the disk. So these are just the manuals. We should probably take a look at that. All right, Vegas Pro 17. No one's gonna take the time to read that whole manual, right? All right, so anyways, Vegas Pro 17 edit. That's the installation. All right, so it was by Magix, so I just saw that. First proper video editor. Now I've got this over Premiere just because it doesn't make sense uh, for me to pay like, I don't know, $200 per year for a YouTube channel that only has like 300 subscribers right now. Right now, right now for the purposes of YouTube for me, I don't need that like, like a professional like high-end editor. Vegas Pro should work fine for me for the next few years. And I mean, I got it for a discount and it's not a subscription, it's a one-time payment. So I was like, okay, why not? So... Yeah, so the system requirements, if we go to Vegas's website, it says the operating system minimum is Windows 10, but it should work for Windows 7 as well. I've checked it. Install. Did I break the install? Oh, never mind. It works. All right, so we're going English. I have accepted the terms and conditions. Why wouldn't you? Let's create a shortcut on our desktop, because why not? Install. All right, so if you're wondering what kind of specs I have... Let's just go to here. I have, you know, Windows 7. I have an i5-6600K, which can be overclocked, and it's at 3.5 gigahertz. However, it can turbo boost to 3.9, which, I mean, I think that's good for Vegas Pro, at least. And I have a GTX 960. So this installation was actually pretty quick. I was expecting a bit more. It's pretty much almost done, and I'm running 17.0, and there's Vegas Pro. All right, so... Uh, let's activate this with the serial number. I'll be right back. Two thousand years later. Your computer uses an unsupported version of window of the Windows operating system. Honestly, the technical support part one does not bother me at all. All right, so it's the next day, and I decided not to show the editing process for this video just because. Well, firstly, it's just me going back and forth between the video editor and the tutorial, and it's it's just really boring. Because if I'm being honest, it would be if I was the viewer and I was looking at a YouTube video, 
I wouldn't want to look at this guy trying to learn a video editor by going to a tutorial back to it, to a tutorial back to it. It was just, if I'm being honest, I did it for the sake of all of you, so I decided not to do it. It's just, it's just going to take too much time of the video as well. But I can show you what I have done so far and my overall experience. So, so far, I'm loving this editor. I'm loving the multiple layers and the zoom effects and just overall this video editor just makes me feel less limited. Going from Movie Maker to this is just mind-blowing. It's just amazing. And, uh, yeah, that's about it for the video. As you can see, I did a couple of cuts here and there. I did, you know, I also learned how to add text. I also, you know, I learned how to add multiple streams to my video. I learned layers, obviously, music, all that stuff. So, yeah, overall, in terms of compatibility, I've, I've not been having any compatibility issues with Windows 7 and Vegas Pro. In terms of crashes, I've only had one. And that one was literally just me just doing something with these folders. I don't know what I did to these folders, but I did something. This is definitely not a Windows 7 thing. This was me doing something that was unintended by the user. So this is not a Windows 7 thing. Also, even if I did go to Windows 10, Windows 7, it would honestly, if I'm being honest, it would just make the same issues. Like, I've heard people having multiple crashes and render issues in Windows 10, and it's gonna have, it's gonna happen here as well. So, even if I had problems in Windows 7, the same things are gonna happen to Windows 10. So, I don't mind if I use Vegas Pro on Windows 7. And, uh, yeah, I don't plan on going back to Windows Movie Maker. It's just too hard for me to go back to Windows Movie Maker after using this editor with a proper, you know, high-resolution preview with all these, you know, all these options for my video. And, yeah, I don't plan on using it. So far, Vegas Pro is working great for me. So that's about it for this video. So I would appreciate if you left some feedback on this video about how I can improve the editing process. And, you know, that would be great. I would really appreciate that. That's about it for this video. Vegas Pro has been going great for me. And I'll see you all later.